Oh, we got some new customers at night. Careful, you'll step on my cape. Oh, so sh <laughs> Greetings, travelers. How may I serve you? Uh, not another one of those empty babblers. Um, I can confidently say I'm all but empty. That's what they all say. Seems they've given you some more options than usual. But doesn't convince me just yet. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Of course, probably forgot to give you enough intellect. Would surprise me if there actually was a brain inside that skull. I'm sure there is. Have you checked? No, but I can assure you I'm different from your average background character. Sure. I must agree, you look much more delicious than they usually do. Thank you. Though I should let you know I am not on the menu. <laughs> that face. <laughs> Don't worry too much about it. He's a tad quirky. I see. That thing on your shoulder, is it quirky too? What thing? Ah, my cape. Your cape? That's not his cape. That green fella on his shoulder is an ooze, or what's left of it. And the rest of it is on you? Die. Pretty tough to clean off. May I ask how that happened? It just did. Maybe I can offer you two a drink in exchange for the story and your names. Yes, I love stories. Well then, may I have your name? No, but I shall tell it to you. I'm Sir Alphonse Louis Frederick Duquette de la Song. It's long for Kyle. <laughs> Kyle? Kyle. Well, Kyle, what kind of drink can I offer you? Blood. Or if you're out, I would also settle for something that tastes like blood. Or looks like it. Red is my favorite color. Okay. I'll look for something with red in it. Uh, what do we got? We're looking for some big sword juice here. The Southern Brawler. Mm-hmm. This drink is sometimes served spicy hot or ice cold. That sounds good. Let's do that. Gonna want a little bit of this, a little bit of this blue juice, and lots and lots of sword. What do you think, Andu? Oh yeah. Order up. Some almost blood for you, sir. Oh, thank you very kindly. That looks delicious. It also tastes delicious. Very alive. Maybe as a chaser you could let me have a bite. No. Okay. And who may I offer the second drink? Rhea Frost Grip. Nice to meet. Yeah, yeah. Skip. <laughs> Just serve me something strong. Something that feels durable. Tough like a mountain or the caves of Ur. One of those frosted lagoons looks close enough. That's a great name for a drink. Coming right up. Frosted Lagoon. Dun, dun, dun. One of these. Oh, yes. Get that defense juice. Mm, yummy. And what? A little bit of this. And a little of this. I think that's right. And, dude, do I have it? Yes. Bing! Try that one. Looks delicious. A taste of the ur, just for you, valued customer number two. Oh, are you hitting the price holders? Let me try. I see you're many things, but not a liar. Tastes like a pile of rocks, just how I like it. So, Rhea, Kyle, uh, what about that ooze-filled story? Fine. Guess you've earned it. Alright. 
Picture me deep in the mountains of Dolvimer, with my trusty axe and a good drink by me side. There I was, mining me own business, digging for the good stuff, you know. Hit a gold vein earlier, and deemed myself the luckiest dwarf of all times. Had a real big old pile of gold. Then suddenly, this big ooze comes along and slurp. Gone it was. <laughs> Kyle. Kyle cracks me up. This is a very boring story. Perhaps we could go looking for my cape now? It's nearly sunrise. And? The sun kills ye? Oh, right. Did the ooze also eat the cape? Yes. No. Oh. Anyways, I wouldn't call myself the best warrior, but when that ooze slurped me gold, I had to do something. So I took me shovel and dug and hit and dug and hit until there was nothing left anymore of the ooze. Well, almost nothing. So did you dig out your gold? Silly food. She dug out me. <laughs> and guess what he was clinging on to? The gold. Oh, yes. A big gold nugget. Should be enough to bring me to Boruvia. And perhaps it can even get me a dandy new cape. I don't think so, Sunshine. We had a deal. Ah, uh, we did? Would you allow me to ask a question? What was that deal again? I get you to Barovia, so you can participate in your fancy vampire banquet, and in return, I get the gold. But what about my cape? Where have you last seen your... your cape? Don't even bother. It's a lost cause. We've looked everywhere on our way here. Fought cursed chests, many-eyed monstrosities, undead goons. And I started to wonder, where in his life did this man put his cape? Where everyone puts their cape. Do you know where I put me capes? Where? In a wardrobe! Oh. So you can wear it inside the wardrobe lands? What? No. Kyle, maybe we could find someone to retrieve your cape for you. We could. Phenomenal. I could put out a quest for you, but for that we need a little more information. Good luck with that. First, I'd need to know where you last saw your cape. Hmm. I was getting ready to go to the annual vampire banquet hosted, hosted by Lord Strut in Boruvia. While getting dressed, I realized I couldn't find my cape. My first thought, of course I cannot find it. The Cape of Invisibility is playing tricks on me. It is quite moody sometimes. Which is truly unfortunate when you want to wear it for an important event. We all know how important a fancy cape is for displaying your vampire status. Of course. Then what was the last vampire event you wore the cape to? My wedding. Your wedding. When I married my sweet Evelyn, I simply had to wear my most treasured cape to show how important she was to me. Evelyn, the vampiric Countess Evelyn residing in Marrow Castle? That would be her. Congratulations, are you still married? Ugh, of course not. I hate her every inch of her body. Turns out she just wanted Spit it out, leech. Oh. What? My cape. Ah, rats, here we go again. My sweet Evelyn stole my cape. What now? That little, mean, vicious, beautiful beast. She, the thief of thieves, robbed me of my most precious possession. Wouldn't that be your heart? No. I had that taken out centuries ago, but my cape, I could never live without it. 
Oh, sweet, sweet Evelyn. How could you do this to me? I trusted her with all I had. That's rough, buddy. Perhaps, innkeeper, that's your name, right? Uh, sure. Do you think there is a courageous adventurer out there brave enough to retrieve my precious cape for me? I'm afraid that my sweetest Evelyn will kill me on sight if I ever set foot into her villa again. Yes, I think we can find such an adventurer. That's what we are setting up right now. So, Marrow Castle, where could a brave adventurer find it? Deep past the abyss of dread, at the foot of a mountain range that looks like a witch's bosom, <laughs> towers the mansion of my dear Evelyn. Queen of Darkness. Temptress of Men. Flamenco Champion of 1467. The right hero should be able to outsmart her and escape with their life. But be aware, she bites. And she may be invisible now. All right, I think I've got everything I need. I will write up a quest for you. I'm sure you'll have your cape back in no time. I hope so. That reminds me. Not another cursed monologue. Inkeep, quickly, another drink. I don't think I can make it through another tale of woe without some artificial stamina. I need another lagoon. One lagoon, coming up. I'll see what I can do. The lagoon. Got it. Bing! Some liquid stamina for a valued guest. Hmm. Let me try. You got it right again. I might even last till dayfall with that. Kyle, would you like another drink as well? No! I cannot drink now that I am consumed with thoughts of my love's betrayal. Oh, it ails me so. Everything ails you. The whole way here, you were complaining about having to walk. My bat form doesn't work as it used to. I am out of practice and slime weighs heavily on my shoulders. And my back is all icky. By the dragons. Could it be because you insisted on... Sunbathing? Oh. Oh, right. Innkeeper! Do you have a drink to protect me from the sun? Perchance something that also moisturizes my delicate skin. Uh, I'm afraid not. Oh. But you know what? Those chilies that Fable talked about said uh, that could do fire resistance. Maybe that could help him out later. That reminds me, my Aunt Mathilda used to harness the power of a Chimera saliva for sun protection. Hmm. A Chimera? This thing, a uh, beast made out of several animals. Got three heads in all, made by the dragons to guard Gaia. Likes to eat people for breakfast. I'm aware. I just didn't know its saliva could be so useful. Ah. If only I hadn't eaten that delectable bear chimera in the Scarlet Caves, I could ask it for a sample of its saliva. I'm sure that'd go over well. Actually, I might know where to find one. Really? Will you get it for me then? No. Oh. What? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Miss... Frost grip, dearest Rhea. Perhaps we can alter our deal. Oh, nay, forget it. I ain't going. With nothing on me but a shovel and ooze goop, I'm no match for such a beast. No problem. I can make it another quest for my trusted board. And when will it be done? Tell me, when can I walk among mortals in the glistening sunlight once more? As soon as a fearless adventurer picks it up, and succeeds, especially that. Splendid! Did you hear that? A quest just for me! Let's leave it at two. 
Say, innkeep, while we wait for someone to do his work for him, do you perhaps have a room or two? Possibly a room without sunlight. Wouldn't want Snow White to go up in flames right here. Sure thing. I've got a couple of barred up rooms. You can stay there. How much? You can pay when you leave. Grand. Seems like they gave you more personality than usual. Keep it up. Maybe you'll become a real boy one day. I hope so. Thank you. Enjoy your stay. You too, tasty creature. <laughs> They're fun. Let's make a quest. Oh, I've got so many rumors. Um, okay, we are... Let's see. Vampire stuff. Yep. These? Dead snails. Oh, chimera. Right. There's saliva. Maybe not that one. Let me see. Vampire's looking for his cape. Wanted to go for a stroll in the sun. The one thing that stands a chance against the curse of the sun is saliva. A chimera resides in the macro. I think that's right. No? It said no. They don't have to be in order, do they? I doubt it. Do I want to do the... Is it the cape? Maybe these three. Vampire's looking for his cape. Last saw his cape on his wedding day with Countess Evelyn. And here's where Evelyn lives. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Hey there, Evelyn. <laughs> we wrote that he was a senile vampire. That's not nice. All right, quest up. Mm, kind of feel like... Oh, wait. We got the two things about the Chimera and then that rumor we learned earlier from the Hydra that it hates mice. Yeah. There we go. Bring back the, the saliva. Nice. Time to feed and do. Clean up and I think it's time to go to bed. <laughs> 